Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meet again, and uh, this is another real flow tutorials. I've done a couple before this, so if you haven't watched those yet, I suggest you go back and have a look. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to be covering a demon called uh, the Kill Isolated Demon. So it's going to be a pretty short um, tutorial, this one. So let's just get in and jump into it. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to, as normal, create a, a circle emitter. Um, that creates a scene tree with my emitter in it, tied to this fluid. In the fluids, I'm going to go to display and whack up the size of the particles, just so you guys can see it easier. And um, I'm also going to, going to go to the main scene and go to the solver and twirl down my GPU, select my CUDA GPU and my GeForce uh, GTX 970. Okay, so that's all we need to do. So let's grab the emitter and just move it up a little bit. Just give us a little bit of room. Um, I'm also going to change the emitter type to uh, sphere. So this is what we get when we start simulating. I'm also going to give a bit more time on the clock. So 10 seconds. And I'm also going to... Um, crank up the randomness to something like 26 just so it's a bit more mental so if we take that back to the beginning there we go so the velocity of our particles are um, right up and you can see that it starts chugging it's really having problems trying to um, calculate all those all those particles because there's a lot of them and um, yeah, so let's have a look at the K isolated. So if we go up to the real flow menu, go down to demons and go to the K isolated, it'll add that demon there. And there's not much to it. So you've got the basic tab, you've got the coordinates tab, just like any other demon, and then the, the actual K isolated tab. Now, the only things that we've got in there is this linked fluid, which was this fluid here. So it's detected that when I brought in the demon and added that there, and this isolated time. So basically what this time represents uh, is the time in seconds that isolated particles uh, will exist for, and then after this time period, they get killed. They get killed off. So this can actually help. If you've got a load of, um, you know, isolated particles aren't going to be meshed very well, or if at all. Um, so there's kind of no point in being there, especially when they've got to be calculated from frame to frame. So if I just turn this off for a moment and we can see the result that we had before, it's this. And yeah, it's starting to struggle now. So with the kill isolated, after one second, isolated particles, you can see that they're getting killed off. They're disappearing. They're dying. And we can see that the uh, simulation is running nice and... So if you were this close to this thing and you didn't have this, it would still be calculating particles off screen. And therefore, when we get to this mark, three second mark, it starts to chug pretty badly. But with the kill isolated, we get exactly the same effect, but our simulation remains zippy and fast. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I told you it was a quick one. Um, as always, uh, you can um, help support Digital Meat by going to the donate page on digitalmeat.uk. You could also check out the merch store. Also, the tutorial page. There's plenty there to get on with. There's Unity tutor tutorials, Cinema 4D, Playmaker, all that kind of stuff. You can also vote on that page as well, so you'll be able to vote for the next upcoming tutorial. So uh, that's it, guys. Thanks for listening. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.